sucks I had to come back here and get jugged though. Like I should not have went down in that stupid scenario we were in. It's like I know I'm looking over here at the live stream and such, but dude, it just went from 17 viewers to 25. It's so weird. I don't think this counter for YouTube actually works correctly. <laughs> but um, if if like seven people did just join, welcome, welcome you guys. If you are enjoying this content. Please give it a thumbs up, and uh, we, we're doing Call of the Dead, which is a Black Ops 1 DLC map, and uh, we are more than halfway through this live stream. The next map we're going to do is the moon, and we're probably, if I survive, only going to go to round 15 on here because I want to go ahead and move to the moon, and we'll probably go pretty long in the moon. So, I was asked, what is my favorite game ever? That is a really hard thing to say because I played so many games, but my number one game of 2012 was Minecraft for 360, and I have been playing Minecraft for a good, like, what, three years now? Maybe less than that, maybe like two and a half. So, I mean, Minecraft is one of my most favorite games ever. Like, you know, it's the one that I've played the most consistently and not have stopped playing. So, I'd pretty much probably say Minecraft's my favorite game ever. Although it definitely can get boring at times, but it's just the idea of endless, like, it's just the idea of endless possibilities. Like, you know, you are limited to how, like in Minecraft, the only limitation you have is your creativity. And so that's something I really love about Minecraft. And yeah, definitely YouTube, you're drunk. Go home. <laughs> But I know people are coming and leaving though. I mean, you see people saying, hey, talk to you later, I'm leaving. You see people new coming in. That's life, man. My favorite map on Black Ops 2? Th there is no favorite. There's only one map. Well, okay, there's two. There's Transit, Green Run, and then there's Nuketown. So I guess Green Run, because nothing else is out. But if I had to narrow it down to survival only, it's out of, uh, I guess, Town and um, the Barn. Those are my two favorites. But if the gas station was a survival only, that would be my favorite because I love the gas station. That is like my bomb. So I'm, I don't think we'll actually get it, but the um, the wonder weapon on this is called the Scavenger and it is an explosive sniper rifle. And that thing is like boss. It is probably next to the Thunder Gun. It is probably my like favorite wonder weapon next to the Thunder Gun. I don't think we're actually probably going to get it because the box is going to hate me, but... But we should definitely make a crawler and go start hitting the box. Alright, there we got that guy. So either box is here, which it was not, or it's upstairs, which it is. What the French toast? Oh my god, if I swear if we went down there, I would have been pissed. Oh, oh my gosh, where are these zombies coming from? That's supposed to be it. Is there any more damn zombies besides this one stupid crawler? I can't even make him a crawler. It's, uh, that'll, that's going to kill him. Damn it. I guess we'll go hit the box on the next damn round. I need fucking ammo, though. George Ramirez, you really just screwed up that whole round. What is my least favorite game? Uh, the War Z. The War Z is the worst game I've ever played. And I've played a lot of shit games. I don't do multiplayer often at all. I might do some. I might do some gameplay of the new maps for multiplayer, but I, I, I don't. I'm not a multiplayer. I'm here for zombies only. That's why I bought this game. That's why I got Hardened Edition so I can get the extra map. I do not play multiplayer. I'm not a try-hard, you know, kid who wants to just cuss at everyone and kill people. It's not my thing. I like teamwork, kill zombies. Like, when I play co-op, I don't like going against each other. I like teaming up and playing with friends to take down the hordes. I don't like freaking going against each other. It's not my thing. Oh, that's so awesome. That's a max ammo. I need that so bad. I love how I, like, haven't touched the box. It's round 10. I've just been using the MP40 the entire time. Hilarious. Honestly, I could pack a punch both the guns I have right now and never have to touch that box ever again.
Um, when when I made my um, I was asked if I put War Z in my most disappointing games 2012. When I made that list, I totally forgot about Day Z and War Z. I forgot about those two games coming out this year. I would have definitely put War Z as my number one worst game of 2012, and I would have probably put um, Day Z as number two or three as my most best game of 2012. And it sucks that I forgot about those games. I totally just forgot those games came out this year. Um, Pack-a-Punch randomly spawns in like uh, four different areas. I think four or five different areas. So it's kind of random where Pack-a-Punch shows up. I'm not sure if we're actually getting to Pack-a-Punch anything, but we'll do what we can. So, um... Actually, you know what? Let's just grab Flopper. And let's just... Bitch, I said grab Flopper. And let's look around and see where it is. Oh, okay. So get off me, bitch. What are you doing? God damn it. If this one's on, it takes me down. So right now, Pack-a-Punch is actually down where I was. So you want to... Let's go Pack-a-Punch this gun and get Mustang and Sally. That's why I got Flopper, so we can get Mustang and Sally. So here's Pack-a-Punch. And it goes away and it comes back like every so often in different areas. And uh, this is one of the areas. Listen, you. Stop. Little bastard keep coming and just slapping me in the face. Almost losing my Mustang and Sally. Little bastards. I know why I'm here. This might be a little sketchy. See how, see how it went away? And it didn't go away because I used it. It went away because it's on a timer. Like, seriously, if you go to Pack-a-Punch something and it's time for it to go away, like, you can lose your weapon. It'll just go away. It won't, like, it won't, like, warn you. It'll just, like, take your weapon. All right, so we have Stamina. We have PhD Flopper. We have Mustang and Sally, which is probably one of the best things to use for this map. And, of course, we have Jug. So we're going to go probably four more rounds, and we're going to go ahead and uh, go to Moon. And then we're going to um, end this live stream with Moon. And I'm only, if I make it to round 20, I'm only going to try to make it to round 20 on Moon. Nothing any, nothing too more higher. If I get a max ammo, George is getting lit up with this Mustang and Sally. Lit up. So, um, if you guys have just joined the live stream, I'd appreciate it if you liked this footage to like the video. That would, uh, it would help promote my channel and it help get these videos out there because as of right now the new YouTube layout is against underground channels like myself and if you don't get a lot of likes your stuff will not be seen it will not be searched and your channel will pretty much get fucked and go underground and never seen again and it sucks that YouTube is such bastards against underground channel and only cares about their bigger channel it sucks to be employed by someone who's such dicks but that's my life <laughs> That's how it is. You have such a great job where you play video games forever, but then YouTube changes it, and seriously, your views, your payment, and everything gets cut in half by 75%. 75%! Oh man. Just too funny. What is my favorite sport? I don't have a favorite sport. I really don't like sports, to be honest. I'm not a jock who plays sports. I'm a punk who used to go skateboarding and plays guitar and video games. 